Radhanath Sikdar was the first person to calculate the height of Mount Everest in 1852. This brilliant student of mathematics at Hindu College had mastered Newtonian mathematics and physics and invented a new way of drawing a common tangent to two circles when he was just in his teens. In 1831, Surveyor General of India, George Everest, who was looking for a mathematician who had specialized in spherical trigonometry to join the Great Trigonometric Survey. Sikdar, at 19, was appointed in the post as a computer. His salary was rupees 30 per month. In 1851, Sikdar was promoted to the post of chief computer. In 1852, Everest's successor, Andrew Scott Waugh, asked Sikdar to start measuring the height of mountains. Sigda used data from six observations and calculated the height of peak 15 and stated that it was the taller than Kanchanjunga, which was till then considered the highest mountain peak in the world. Later, peak 15 came to be named after the previous surveyor general, George Everest. Sikdar calculated its height at exactly 29,000 feet, but Wa added 2 feet to make it appear a more credible figure. The official height was announced in 1856 as 29,002 feet. A century later, in 1955, an Indian survey announced the height at 29,029 feet. Sikdar was capable of exemplary moral courage. In 1843, he was fined Rs 200 by the British court for protesting the behavior of a magistrate who had called the survey department workers as Pahari Kulis. Like Sikdar, we have many hidden pearls in our Indian history whose contribution towards science are still unknown to us. Thanks a lot to Chandrima S. Bhattacharya who presented us this precious piece of knowledge about this great man of India. I'm not